got a new start board from Goose Hill and I'm gonna test it out today. So let's go test out the new start board. So first off, it comes in such a nice, neat bag. Oh, so it's really nice bag with a zip, start board and everything, the pump fits all inside this bag. So it's pretty easy to pump up and it's like a normal start board. A pump up one, less storage on the boat, so that's uh, good it folds up and stuff so it's not so big like a hard support so for having that then you have to pump it up but that's okay a little bit of like a pre-arm exercise it actually seems to be inflating quite fast but I'll show you when I'm finished that probably took like 10 to 15 minutes not too long and great thing about this is on the back where you pl plug it in it tells you how much psi you should put in so uh, 12 to 15 and I just realized I've put this thing on and I can't remember if I click the button in or if I'm gonna pull it off and it's all gonna deflate. So, um, let's see. Yeah, I didn't click the button so it all came out. Let's, now we have to pump it up a little bit more. In and now it's time to test it on the water. Make sure before you hop on the water that you grab your paddle because I forgot it. So I'm gonna have to paddle back and grab it. Uh, pretty steady and I didn't even pump it up all the way to its suggestion point which you should do but now we're on the water first test to see if it's a good sub or like stable enough to do a headstand so let's go test that hopefully I don't fall in the water so that was a success first headstand on the Goose Hill Supboard. This Supboard passed the first test of headstandable. How many people can fit on this thing? So this is test number two, can it hold two people? Let's see. See if we can both go. And the next test will be, can both of us stand up? Well, that was successful. We're still dry. Our next one, we're gonna try and do some yoga. Now for the ultimate test. Can we both do a headstand? Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to find out. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. The boat had no bilge when we got it and we're just about to go away to renew our visa. I'm just about to wire up this. Um, it's a brand new bilge. I'll just put a rope in so I can lower it down into the bilge. It has been stepped down to three quarter because I only have a three quarter inch outlet. So it sort of defeats the purpose a bit of having... Um, such a big pump dropping down in size but that being said there is another two bilges set really high which uh no, it's a real 8000 so it's two big ones joined together um so if we were hold the next lot of bilges would take the um water they're not wired up yet but this will do for now and then when we get back i'll finish wiring up the um two big bilges so there should be three bilges down in our main bilge should do the job. Similar to the build we had on Catalpa. It's just down quite a deep hole down there, so I've just put a little bit of line on it so I can lower it down nice and easily. Hook this up and we can uh, sleep knowing that the boat's not going to sink if some sort of leak happens. At the moment, the boat's on town water, so it always makes me a bit nervous of a night if something was to let go there has been no bilge in the boat so you 
you'd have water up around our ankles but in no time we haven't got a bilge alarm yet so i've got the float switch for it i just have to get the alarm and that'll be the next one in there to have a bilge alarm so if this doesn't work the next level of water that comes up past the bilge will set off the alarm and then that'll alert us that there's uh, a problem but for now i'm going to get this in get rid of this old 240 volt one that was just sitting down in the hole and um that's it oh look guys just again just a moment of gratitude here i just want to say thank you for everyone that has helped from dewalt heaters heat guns to crimps to crimping tools it's just making life so easy and so possible so thank you once again they are all getting used look at that hey nice waterproof joins nice end core heat shrink connectors oh yeah oh she's hot these butt connectors not only are they heat shrink but they do have glue in them so they do give a pretty good Pretty good watertight seal. Bloody beautiful, hey? No salt water getting in there. Even though it's a meter up past the bilge, it shouldn't get salt water there anyway, hopefully. Right, eh? just cutting in and joining in for the float switch and now I just need to join these up to my power um, where am I gonna do that oh, I've got myself a little bus bar here so I've got some more terminals to put on I'll mount that and we should have a build in about 10 minutes So we just got to wire it up now and we're done. At least we have a bilge now and we shouldn't sink.
watch it. So we just had lunch, well, not lunch, it was like dinner, really early dinner. And we were sitting there talking and then afterwards we're like talking about what jobs we're going to do and uh, Lee was in our room, we got to replace the toilet lines. This isn't a great job. But Bella volunteered to help Lee and I'm editing and Taj offered, offered Bella, to clean up. Could you open that Taj and I by far have chosen the better jobs. Um, they're in there right now dry reaching. It stinks apparently. The old line has got residue of number twos and they've had to cut it all up because it's in a hard pipe, it's not just in like the flexi pipe and he's threading it through a different area so he's got to get rid of it completely. So he's chopping it up and as you can imagine it's disgusting. So it really stinks. I'm going to stay out here. I'm going to keep editing and watching dolphins right on the bow. <laughs> We're back in Indonesia. <laughs> and I think Bella might. She's probably filming some stuff. Yeah. I'm going to stay out here because I I chose better today. Bella next time may rethink about putting her hand up to her helmet, Daddy. Don't let this thing go down. So, how's it going? Hey, that's roughly disgusting. That was uh You got a good job this afternoon. It's a stinky job. Anyway, there was old housing pipe that was like up and down, up and down, and in those downs was crap and in the ups there was water and we just had to it was just such a poor design. I don't know who put it in, but yeah. He's making it better. Bella's there to help. Lucky you! Hi, Bella. <laughs> I can never hate hearing my name so much. <laughs> Have fun! Now I'm gonna watch the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got the stinky smelling pipe out and now we're putting the new one in. There's still a little bit of an aroma in the air of uh, S-H-I-T, but um... Alright guys, no one loves the crappy job, but anyway, someone's got to do it and I'm installing a new inch and a half poop line. Um, originally the line went from the stern of the boat, which is under our bed, and come all the way right through, through the center line of the boat, mind you, up and down with elbows, all the way to the engine, and then back uphill to a holding tank. So there's no way I was gonna put that back in, um, cause that just, I don't know, to me, I just think we'd be looking for, for blockage. So what I am gonna do, I was gonna cut into one of our scupper lines, our deck drains, and I just wasn't sure. I didn't want any aromas coming up through those lines. But I've found a little hole beside the bed where I can go straight from the toilet straight out. It's still a, f a longer run than I'd like, but the through hole is there, and that's how it was originally connected. So it'll be a straight flat run as opposed to up and down all the way to the center of the boat and then back uphill so I think it's gonna work. I've just drilled a hole in the line. Bella and I have run a pull cord through. So I'll connect onto the pull cord and at the same time, I'll just run another line through so at a later date, if anything needs to be done, whether it's a power line or this line needs to be replaced, there'll be another line there ready to go. So we'll get to it, Bella. Woo, let's go run some poop line. <laughs> love this shit. I love it. <laughs> Where was the camera when he was dry reaching before? <laughs> oh, I know. I had this turd roll under my hand and then I, I'd only had lunch and it just, I couldn't help it. Millie came back up. A turd did not roll on your hand. Oh, it was an old, crusty, dried turd, but nevertheless, <laughs> it smelt and it wasn't nice. It's lucky I had the old latex gloves on. <laughs> That's disgusting. All right, I'm not gonna put it, the loop behind um, the wall because I have to remove all that. I could do it, but I'm just gonna stick the vented loop up behind here. You're gonna lose a little bit of cabinet space, but it's gonna be accessible. I'm gonna run with that because I don't really, really wanna remove all the false wall behind there. 
Ideally, I could put it up behind there, but if we need to service the vented loop, it's... How much cabinet space are you talking about? Two of these pipes up and down. <gasps> that whole side? Why do you like it? Yes, I like it. I've never had cabinet space in the bathroom. Uh, well, I'll think about it when we get to it. For now, I just want to run this line in so I can call it a day. Can you hold this over your shoulder like this? He's taking the cupboard space. You can do it down the bottom. Take up all the cupboard down the bottom all you like. I don't need it. It's a vented loop. It's got to be up high. Yeah, that's still high. Let's see how the poopies are doing. <laughs> oh, I can smell it now. That smell, Bella said she could still smell a little bit. Bella's holding a bit of poopy line. Trying to get rid of it all, aren't they? This is the new line. He's running through there, up there, and where he is right now is the through hole. I'm going to show you. Is there more line to get rid of? I'm just cutting off the old one as we speak and he's going to join that new one up there. Sure am with some premium line, some premium uh, Trident, premium one and a half inch poop line. Thank you, Kenneth. Should have this in a minute. We've got this first part done. And through there and then out to under our bed. One step closer to having a toilet in our ensuite. Poopy coming through. It's full. I've never had a full one before. Don't trip over. <laughs> That's it for pooping. Cut more tissues out, just mop the salt up. Just take a bit off for me. It's in there now. I, know how I didn't come up with that the other day, but anyway, it's in now. I'm just gonna take all this plastic off. That's what you do. It's in my road now. Why'd you leave it on? It just looked good. It looked good. It looks terrible. It looks nice without it. Everyone's going to say in the comments below, why did you leave the plastic on? Was there a method to your madness? Oh, you know, you just do your install first and remove the plastic at the end. Who's it all looking nice? Alright, so it was a really productive night last night. I was actually up till 12 o'clock pushing lines through. Um, I got all the lines up through here, all the way down. Got up this morning, Paul took me down to Marine Exchange. We got all of our windows this morning. I got back, I was ready to get into it, and then we had some guests come along. Chuck and Carla, the guys in the Katana that we uh, met up with in Raja Ampat. So, SV Carice. SV Carice. So we are a little bit distracted, but... Anyway, I got back into it. It was super this good was... to see you guys. We last time we saw them, we were in Rajampat, Indonesia, yeah. and um, now we're in California, and here they are. <laughs> so they're actually out at the moment. They've got the kids, and Chuck's uh, gone surfboard shopping. I think back to the poopy business. Like I said, we've got all our lines run. I've installed a switch here. That was the old uh, sump pump, so I changed that over to our switch. For that, it's only just I've just done a loose fit. Um, so what I mean by that is you can actually just, just 
destroy it. I'll destroy it just in two <laughs> seconds like this. So I just loosely fitted this. Um, I've installed a three-way valve, so I will be putting a holding tank in uh, the engine room. I've actually found a way to get to one of the through holes at the back of the boat, and that's the other way. Uh, I've just used a little bit of acrylic just to go down over all the old holes. We had holes in walls, holes in floors, nothing sort of lined up, so I've just sort of done that. It wasn't my bad cut either. It was the the two dollar bin, <laughs> two dollar a pound for scrap acrylic, so it was a little bit short, but I just made it work. That's roughly the gist of what's going on here, guys. I just got to get all the shelving back in. I'm just going to tidy up because we're going to get out of here. We're going to go and renew our visa. Well, it is sort of renew our visa. We've got to, our 90 days is getting closer to being up, so we're going to go down to Costa Rica. Take a it, forced vacation. Take a forced <laughs> vacation. I've actually got toilets and stuff I'm itching to get into, but we have to. Go out and uh, come back in. Hopefully they let us back in. A, bit, a little bit nervous. There's a chance that they can deny us coming in the country. That would suck. That would really suck. We do our backup plans. We just found out Chuck's got two week, two months off. So, <laughs> so Chuck, Chuck might have to uh, take it down to Mexico for us or something. I don't know. But anyway, back to business. Here's what the toilet area looks like without the cupboards back in, with the toilet half done. No toilet paper roll in place, and it, it, it's, it's it's a little bit messy at the moment. But all you got to do, guys, is so see what you see there and go. <laughs> Click your fingers, you reckon? The magic of TV. Do it again. It didn't work. No, one more time. <laughs> you come out, walk through the galley. Check this out. Sarah's got some sprouts growing. It's organic. Don't panic, ladies and gentlemen. We are back together with our, some of our favourite people of SB Curries. We hung out with these guys in Rajarampa all throughout Indonesia and um, we met up with them again now in San Diego because Carla's going to school here. So they're out there having a good time. There you go, this is a tough part. <laughs> Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. Well, maybe oh, there's comments. a God above. Oh, oh we're lost. Yeah, we're Very lost. lost. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. We're all back together again.